Hello there. Good morning. We start with breaking news from Ukraine and air raid sirens have been heard across the country overnight as Russian forces launched a new wave of missile attacks. Explosions were reported in the capital, Kyiv, and a woman and a three-year-old child were killed in the city. Metropolitan police officers could be failing to identify murders because they're not properly investigating unexpected deaths. Now, the Princess of Wales is the most popular member of the royal family, according to a mm. actually, because back in the coronation, the Queen's coronation in 1953, those who performed that role, they were all won their title. So I think it's just one of the ways in which the, the new king is that's showing doing thing his way. Yeah. We'll get the memo this morning about the channeling citrus fruit. Oh. Jerry Springer's family says memories of his intellect, heart and humour will live on after the legendary talk show host died at his home in Chicago at the age of 79. His work was vastly influential in daytime television right around the world. There were almost 4,000 episodes of his show, which ran for 27 years. He was also a former mayor of Cincinnati. Here's our North America correspondent with more, Noel Phillips. Great Springer. Now, Britain's welcomed a 72-hour extension to the fragile ceasefire in Sudan, which came into force overnight. The Foreign Secretary has urged all UK nationals who want to leave the country to come forward as quickly as possible to ensure their safety. Nick Dixon. The average cost of renting a home outside London has reached a new record high. It's topped nearly £1,200 a month, according to the property website Rightmove. Rents have been rising every quarter since the end of 2019, with demand outstripping supply. Here's Pip Thompson with more. For the first time, the government's published official guidelines to help protect people taking part in grassroots sport from the potentially devastating effects of head injuries. Ministers hope they will enable players, parents and schools to treat cases of concussion more effectively. RAF2 Cyprus so far. They're in preparation for this. What's the advice then? 